Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. Hope you're having a great day. I really want to lay it out to you guys today. What's what's really going on behind this whole impeachment sham, sham wow? Um, think, just think about this. Go back in time. Go back to when President Trump was elected. Instantly, instantly, he became the president elect. Let's find a way to impeach him. Why? Why has this been going on? That's what a lot of people are trying to understand. They're like, what, what is going on? I, I, I can tell you what's going on. It's about power and control. The Democrats want all the power and all the control over all of us. What they're trying to do by legislating health care, by legislating... Um, gun control, they're trying to get control of the population. Once they have control of the population, they can do whatever they want without fear of any kind of um, Second Amendment uh, uprising. You know, um, let's protect ourselves from a tyrannous government. That's what the Democrats want. So they know, or they knew, that when Donald Trump was running for president, he meant what he was saying. He was going to do all of the things he campaigned on. And they were scared shitless and are still scared shitless. That is why every day since he's been the president, they've been trying their damnedest to get him out of office. Um, first was, what was it? Stormy Daniels. They tried to they tried to make him into a, having a, um, some kind of like porn star affair or whatever the hell that crap was. Um, then it was, and it was a combination, and that was going on with the whole Russia collusion thing. And then, you know, the steel, the steel dossier and, and how um, he was in, uh, in cahoots with Vladimir Putin to um, throw the election his way. And that's how he was going to get uh, to be president by... You know, that's how he was going to get Hillary Clinton, you know, out of his way was by having the Russians help him out. Mueller report, debunked it. Sorry, nothing there. Keep looking. Oh, he called the Ukrainians and told him that we're going to withhold funds so they don't get their javelin missiles. That's complete bullshit. We all know that. We've all either heard the transcript read to us or have read it ourselves, so we know that's crap. Um... They realized that through the whole impeachment hearings in the, in the House of Representatives that it was complete bullshit. So what are they doing now? They're still trying. They're, they're making it up. There was, no, there was no quid pro quo. There was no corruption. There's no collusion. Um, oh, let's just call it uh, abuse of power because we don't like the way that he uh, does certain things. Well, I can tell you what. Every president going back to day one has claimed executive privilege. So, just because you don't like him doesn't mean that he's breaking the laws or, and, 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 you know, playing out of bounds. Um, but that's what this is all about. This is all about power and control. And maybe a third thing, you know, the Democrats are afraid that they're going to lose their jobs because, quite frankly, a lot of these politicians who are pushing for impeachment, they're career politicians. That's all they've done. Bernie Sanders has never had a freaking job in his life. Never. Never had a job. He's been a... Sorry, got a little cold. There, it's, he's always been in politics. Always been uh, um, in either, you know, in Vermont State Legislature. I don't even know if he started out there. I have no, I have no clue. All, all I know is that he's been in politics since like 1972 or something. That is ridiculous. That is why we need to have term limits because with term limits you actually try to get stuff done you have a term you need to move this forward within whatever your term limit is if you're a um, if you're a, 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 a congressman then your term is two years and maybe you have a um, a four-year term limit for a congressman so that way you're on or four term limit so that way you're only in office for a maximum of eight years you're out see ya and then as a senator two terms. So six years to a 12 year term, 12 years, you're done. You're not making this a freaking career, man. Get out of there. Term limits are a must. Look at President Trump. 
he is doing all of this stuff. You know why? Because he doesn't need to be, be the president. He's not afraid. He's not doing this because this is his career. He's doing this for the betterment of our betterment of our country. So he is getting everything done, and it scares the living shit out of the Democrats because what have they gotten done? Nothing. They're trying to save their own asses, control us, and gain more power by lying and trying to get President Trump out of office through impeachment. That is what they're doing. That is all this is about. Power, control, and saving my own, saving their own asses by keeping uh, their electability status high enough so that when November comes around, everybody goes, oh, I, li I like that guy. Click, you still have a job. No. Term limits. Get them out. You've all been there way too freaking long. You all need to go. So, if you guys are wondering what this, all this crap is about, this is what, that is what it's about. Power, control, um, and job security. And these guys and gals need to get out of the way. And we need to put term limits on representatives and senators. So that way when they are elected, they actually do their job. They get stuff done for the American people. They do what they what we elected them for instead of this freaking ego trip they all have about trying to get President Trump impeached. So that being said, please like, share, and subscribe this video. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. If you are subscribed, please make sure you still are subscribed. Hit that bell notification for future um, videos that come out and always remember to stay on the right side. Talk to you guys soon.